Okay, so hopefully, first charge on the first site of Evolve New York. So this is a video detailing our first experience uh, charging with Evolve New York down in LaGrangeville, uh, New York. I wanted to make a bit of a disclaimer just to make sure that people are aware this is a pre-commissioned site. It's not uh, officially activated yet. There has been uh, some check-ins on PlugShare. People have been down there to check it out, but there's no branding on the site. It's not fully um, ready for public use just yet. So there are people testing it and that's what we were doing on the way down. But if you're headed that direction, make sure you have enough charge to get on to Newburgh, New York or wherever the nearest fast charging is in the area because these sites are uh, still rough and ready, still waiting to be commissioned and activated properly with the EV Connect app. So quick disclaimer, but let's get on to our charge and how we fared. You can see how new it is in that they have no signage or branding on them just yet. Just the ABB units. And free charging up to 30 minutes. Let's get it started. familiar ABB screen. We've got charge them up to 100 kilowatts, CCS 351 kilowatts in case you wanted that one extra kilowatt. Start it up. Refit. We don't have a refit. The person who successfully charged said they did so on this one, I guess. The other one wanted an RFID card. This one seems to be going. Same 351 kilowatt power listing, off it goes. Setting up communication with car. Coming in from Boston to LaGrangeville, New York, which is just a little bit east of Poughkeepsie, 23%. And we'll see, it says a 30 minute limit but who knows? Looks like the starting up just fine. Let's see what the car reports for speed. So the display does say a 30 minute free period, but we've uh, had some food and been 40 minutes now. Still charging away. Obviously it's early days. There's no branding on them yet. There are the couple of screens that say the 30 minute charging through November 2020. And uh, the Evolve NY map, which has become pretty familiar to anyone who's watching the channel. But this is the only one that started up. Uh, the others, I didn't test uh, the one on the nearest here, but the other two required an RFID card. So those look like they still have to be programmed in to uh, have the free charge, but maybe they've used this one just to see if they were up and running and the power was okay. And uh, someone obviously got a charge on this just before we set off from Boston last night. So that was good news. We were able to come through here, check out the charger, get a little bit of juice, 
So just a little background information on Evolve New York in case you haven't seen our previous videos on the subject or uh, you're not familiar with the network at all. Um, it's a charging initiative at the state level in conjunction with the New York Power Authority and various stakeholders along the way um, to put fast charging across New York State. Um, it has a goal of uh, 200 stations by the end of 2021, which is going to be around 50 sites because that's for uh, four fast charging units per site. And the speeds they're looking at are a minimum of 150 kilowatts. So you're, you're at least future proofed into the next couple of years. And as you'll see from the video, the equipment does seem to be able to go up a little higher um, well, a lot higher really, up to 350 kilowatts plus. Not necessarily the most useful place. Um, it's kind of, as I said, just east of Poughkeepsie, which for anyone who uses the Taconic Parkway or in that area, it will help. But uh, it's about 10 miles off the I-84 route that we would normally take, and it makes Newburgh, New York, a much more uh, useful station for anyone who's on their way east to west. But, you know, this works for what it is. And we have four ABB stations. So this is the one we're on. The far right. And just behind the bushes here and to the right of the flag, there's the Tops Friendly Supermarket. There's also a neighborhood deli, which isn't open, but uh, looks like a decent little place to get some food. In terms of goals, uh, new, the Evolve New York initiative is hoping to have 200 stations active by the end of 2021. Beyond that, uh, looking at uh, 800 stations across 500 sites by the end of 2025, obviously that gets into much more woolly numbers and you won't have the exact locations. There are some firm uh, cities at least, if not actual site locations, and then there are a bunch at uh, sites like or businesses like Marabito, um, which is based out of Binghamton, I've been told. Um, and uh, there's a lot of those are currently the next wave of sites that will hopefully be activated, if not late this year, then early 2021. So it's uh, it's needed redundancy. We hope that at least, uh, certainly it looks like the southern tier and the very high points of uh, upstate New York up through to the Canadian border will be bridged nicely. And I'm sure there's much more news coming on new sites coming through. Syracuse, New York, which we visited in June, desperately needs that kind of infrastructure. So it's going to be interesting to see where they prioritize, how things get rolled out. But for the moment, this is a first charge. Good to see one going in. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing them wrapped up and in regular use. Successful Evolve New York charge. Iced charger. Those don't work anyway. Lagrangeville site right now is uh, will can deliver a free charge and that will be the case through to mid November of 2020. So there's going to be a period to test these things and if they find that the pricing doesn't work out um, after that period, I'm sure it will be reviewed. But um, this is an opportunity really just to see the kind of bones of the site, see the equipment that's gone in, what it looks like, you know, pre landscaping, pre branding, and pre uh, credit card and payment readers being online. You know, use this site. There's going to be a test period. Um, they're encouraging feedback. So I will put the details down in the description of um, Rachel at the New York Power Authority, who's keen to hear from 
um, EV owners who use the site or around the state or traveling through um, and have suggestions for how it can be improved, what they would like to see at a charging site, all that good stuff that uh, it's it's heartening to see, you know, a a pro program taking in the uh, views right from the get-go. We've been talking to New York Power Authority for uh, for many months now, and some people have been involved with it. Have been talking for years, so it's uh, it's very much got EV drivers at the heart of it, and they want to continue that feedback loop of uh, hearing what's going well with it, what's wrong, um, what you want to see from the site themselves, pricing, speeds, all the stuff that we discuss on this channel. So enjoy this, and uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks. For watching and see you soon.